What's up, Tyler and Keith? Hello. Back at it. We're going to talk about the new Alestorm album, Curse of the Crystal Coconut. That just came out. Uh, this is their sixth album to follow out to 2017's No Grave But the Sea. You don't know Alestorm. They are a pirate metal band, you could say. Um, they yeah. are a pirate-themed metal band. <laughs> and they are a very goofy band. Um, and I feel like they're a band that if you try to take too seriously, uh, you're really missing the point. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not, I'm not saying that, you know, everything this band's done has been golden, um, <laughs> but they, they do have a number of, number of tracks and I do like most of their albums and no great, but C was a pretty decent album there. I mean, there's, there's some great tracks on there and, um, Alestorm also, you know, there's no tours going on right now, but Alestorm is probably one of the most fun live bands you could ever see. Oh, I yeah. Think. Especially when the place is fucking packed, like when we saw them with Glory Hammer. Oh, was, my God. That was shit. great. That was, a, uh, that, was, that, was a, that was a party. Like, yeah. Like, I don't know if I've ever seriously. been to a show that's a party, but that was a straight-up party. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. That, that, that was a party, uh, that show. But, yeah. Uh, what did you think of Curse of the Crystal Coconut? I'm... I'm Curious. We haven't really talked about it ahead of time here, so I'm curious what you think. I am a person of two minds about this album. Because in a lot of ways, in some ways, I don't know. This album is maybe, in some ways, this album's not for me. Because I I like, I, I do really like the Goofy, which is, I'm also going to pair, go on and say this. I'm going to say that, I'm going to mostly say positive things about this album, but it's just the way the album sits with me. Because and when we reviewed... Uh, was it Treasure Chest Party Quest? I think did mm-hmm. we review that track? I mentioned yeah. like you know, Sunset of the Golden Age is like peak Alestorm to me. That's like them at their best. That's the kind of yeah. Alestorm that like I first listened to. It's the Alestorm I really like. You know, their last album they started throwing some more goofy shit in there, and I'm you know I was digging it. And there is a lot of goofy shit. And the positive I can say about this album is you have to respect how little of a fuck they give on this entire <laughs> album. Seriously. Like just. So seriously, I, and yes. I think I think there's the song that more that is I can't understand why I fucking love this song because it's basically the same thing as the song that I don't really like from their last album and that's shit boat no fan. Yeah. <laughs> it's two minutes of them just telling you to eat a bag of dicks and I'm like, yep. this is fucking perfect. But like and like songs like that where it's it's just balls to the wall like who gives a fuck is great and some of the songs that are a little bit more um not straightforward but some like like i like pirate scorn is good probably maybe my favorite track is is fanny balls that's a fun song the chorus is really good that song i like that and there's just uh, and there's like, like there's a lot of weird songs which i think is what kind of is maybe the thing that kind of turns me off because like <laughs> zombies ate my pirate ship yeah. is is weird like first off it's just a weird thing to base a song off of but also has like i don't know who the uh, I, I looked it up and i i'll pull it up here because i have the album pulled up or i can pull the album up really quickly they get um a uh what's her what's her name they get a guest vocalist on the song it's like uh a a woman by the name of where is it Patty Gertie, who I don't know who that is off the top of my head. Maybe I should know, but I don't know who that is. And they have her singing in the song, and I'm like, "What? What is happening? This is weird." Uh, the song "Chomp Chomp" is about <laughs> like battling alligators or something. It's it's a weird <laughs> one. Um, and, and I also had mixed feelings on the other single they released before, which is "Tortuga," which is maybe the weirdest song on the whole album. I'm like. On one hand, I kind of dig it, but on the other hand, I'm like, man, this is, like, I can't help but be a little bit sad because I'm like, again, and I don't want to sit here and bitch and moan that, like, oh, this isn't the Earl Storm that I fucking, uh, that I discovered, and so I hate it. Like, I don't know, it's just like, and there's, like I said, there's moments of that on this album, I think, all over the place. Like, I mean, uh, <laughs> Wooden Leg Part 2, The Woodening, <laughs> is a song that's like that, which I think is also just a great thing. Of all the songs to do a Part 2 of, it's Wooden Leg, which is mm-hmm. maybe, maybe, uh, I would personally maybe one of the weaker songs from Sunset of the Golden Age, but I can oh, see yeah. why people like it. But I'm like, fuck it, why not? It's, it's like, yeah, 
the other thing is weird. It's like there's a lot of like two minute songs on this album. Like fucking uh, shit boat is that uh, <laughs> Henry Martin? The last track's like two minutes, and I'm like, all right, that's that's how, that's how you're gonna close out the album. But like, I could see just about any song in this album being a fucking hoot live. And you know, what? Oh, yeah. I think that's what this band is. And you know what? Uh, kudos to this band for evolving. For not just staying, because who knows? I'm saying that, like, oh, I missed the old Ale song, but who knows? Maybe that would have gotten st- stale really fucking quick. Because, like, it took a long time for me to even get into Ale Storm, but I'm like, I don't know. Fucking, but, like, yeah, fucking <laughs> songs like Shipboat and Pirate Metal Drinking Crew is pretty fun. Like, I don't know. It's, I know I just literally just, like, pr- like talked about how much fun the album is for, like, two or three minutes there, but, like, I don't know. It's a weird album, man. That's like the literally yeah. the best thing. It reminds me so much of fucking Welcome to Bonkers by fucking Necro yeah, Goblin Goblin. in some mm-hmm. points. But I feel like that uh, that album goes so much more above and beyond with it that it succeeds. Whereas I think this album, it's like they're trying to have it both ways. They want to still have like the fucking the, the cool epic pirate stuff that they were doing, but then they also just want to just go batshit crazy. Which you know, if they could pull it off, more power to them. But I don't know, maybe. A good album, mm. not my favorite. But yeah, yeah. Th- this album feels more of like a pirate party album than than anything. Uh, and and you, you have songs like, you know, from Sunset, like Drink or Hangover, which are really fun songs. Really, those were like some of the tracks that really got me to like Alestorm. They're 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 accessible songs, and I feel like this album is those sort of songs over and over and over again, which you kind of just got to take it or leave it. Like, you like it or you don't. And I like some of these songs for sure. I mean, Treasure Chest Party Quest is just still a really fun, goofy song to listen to. Um, I actually love Tortuga. That that song is so fucking catchy and so bizarre. And I'm like, what is even going on? Especially, like, the first time I heard that when they released it, ahead of the album when that verse comes in first and it's just kind of slow and you're supposed to i I could see everybody you know at at an ailstorm show just kind of like dancing around when that song starts and i'm like yeah what is this but but it's so fucking catchy tortuga is the word of the day for me Uh, it's just been stuck in my head all day um but yeah then some of the other songs like uh yeah shit boat and and pirate metal drinking crew i'm just like what the fuck and there's always like one part of those songs that like i kind of like like i, I kind of like the beginning of pirate metal drinking crew but then like the the vocals they're just like oh my god whatever um they're still fun to listen to but damn and i was listening to fanny balls that's the last single they put out before this album dropped and I like that song. It's it's such a typical Ale Storm song. And I was listening to it, and my wife goes, is this Ale Storm? I'm like, yeah, it's new Ale Storm. She's like, are you serious? <laughs> because it sounds so much like every fucking Ale Storm song. Like, I swear they've done that ex- same exact, like, uh, guitar riff and and vocal pattern before it, it, it just feels so similar it's fun to listen to don't get me wrong but it's like holy moly um yeah it, this this album is fun it still has some some cool guitar work and some wicked solos but yeah it, if, if you want the more and i say serious ale storm in quotes you know with songs say the uh like 1741 or magnetic north or you know, think you know, even the title track, Sunset from Golden Age, Treasure, Treasure Island from their last album. Um, no great but to see. A little bit more serious Alestorm songs that are still fun to listen to. There's not a lot of that on here. These songs to me are just more like, let's just have a party and get drunk and have a good time. But they, but you do get one of them. And one of I think Wooden Leg Part Two, the Woodening, is so over the top and epic it's so well crafted that i'm like what the fuck this is so random on this album because every song is just goofy fun and then you have this and there's blast beats and awesome guitar work and of just awesome vocals throughout the whole thing and i'm like what the fuck man this is just this is awesome i i like that song um 
weird that it doesn't close the album because I feel like it's a good song to close the album, but then they put Henry Martin right after it, which I'm like, I don't really understand this song either. Yeah. And it's just me. But but yeah, it's it's a fun album for sure, but I wouldn't call a lot of these songs like great in a way. Um, yeah, I would but, agree. But I I I I in every time I listen to it I enjoyed myself. I'll say that. It's it's just yeah it, just kind of all over the place with my feelings on it. Like I like it, but Exactly. I hate it at the same time. <laughs> yeah, you like, like I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there like, man, there's like, like, uh, so many songs don't get me going, and then I know because also I want to see them live again because they're just like, mm-hmm. like we, like we alluded to earlier, they're, they're the most fun. I'm like, but then I fucking know I'm gonna get fucking pumped when like, oh yeah, they fucking bust out like, you know, um, when they, they fucking bust out Chomp Chomp live, and I'm gonna be yeah. like, oh yeah, let's do this, like. Yeah. It's just yes, it's it's such a yeah. You you put it away. It's such a polarizing like feeling album, mm. for sure. Yeah, but yeah. That's that's all I got. It's it's interesting for sure. Same. Uh, scores seven. I think it's a seven. Yeah, seven point five. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Definitely listen to it. Let's know what you think of Curse of the Crystal Coconut from Alestorm. Thanks for watching. See you later.